why should we go and learn data science on a cloud platform and that too on the Azure? The answer is pretty simple. Cloud gives us the promise and the benefit of whatever we need for data science. You need high performance compute. You need clusters, heavy end clusters, GPU enabled clusters, graphical processing units. You need tensor processing unit clusters to do training, right? For kernel development. You need data storage technology like lakes, databases, right? You need machine learning pipelining strategies. You want to develop pipelines, right? MLOps pipelines. So the point is whatever you need to do a robust machine learning operationalization project, everything is available in the cloud that to on demand and as a pay as you go. You use it, you delete it, that's it. There is no need for you to go to the market and purchase a $10,000 GPU box, right? There is no need to go into the market and purchase a $100,000 TPU box. You just go and grab it from the Microsoft and do your work, delete it, right? You find everything, a platform to do cloud, based data science and more and more companies in the modern times are moving towards cloud-based platforms for doing their data science and machine learning based projects except when then there is a compliance and regulatory needs to remain on-prem otherwise they have to go and migrate to the cloud they cannot bear capital expenditures because funds are very much drying in the industry funds are very very hard to secure you know these are startups and various companies alike the funds are very precious and they cannot waste the money into capital expenditures, right? So they preferred using cloud for operational expenditure, right? So ML workflow, what is a workflow? A workflow is a repeatable, reliable, consistent way of doing something that takes the raw inputs and gives us the desired output as the processed output. So typically in the workflow life cycle, you prepare your data, data preparation. It is typically done by data engineers, but uh, as a data scientist, you must have little bit of idea about data preparation tasks like data cleansing, data transformations, data imputations, scaling, normalizations, pivoting, unpivoting. Lot of things are there. A lot of technologies can be used to do that. You can use Databricks. You can use Azure HD Insights. You can use Azure Data Factory mapping data flows. So a lot of technologies exist on the Microsoft Azure platform, which we see uh, machine learning people typically use when they do data preparation tasks. Then you need to do exploratory data analysis and you need to do something called as the training model training model authoring model validations right so you build your model in your favorite ide whatever your integrated development environment may be jupiter jupiter labs visual studio code whatever you prefer right and you do what's called as model authoring and model a validation that is called as train and test your model a model is in a simple way if I put it's a prediction function that is an output of statistical learning algorithm so we in the modern times use something called as a statistical theory of learning right we are not using what's called as expert systems that we used to use in the 90s and the 80s expert systems nowadays we use what's called a statistical learning of theory uh, statistical theory of learning, right? Uh, so train and test your model using such learning algorithms. We have invented a lot of statistical learning algorithms like, you know, logistic regressions, uh, gradient boostings, uh, random forests, and so on and so forth. So many algorithms are there, I cannot even name them. And the model has to be registered and then 
properly deployed and monitored and managed and we always prefer to deploy our models as what we prefer to deploy our models as images containers and there is a benefit to that there are a lot of advantage advantages when you deploy your models as images and containers right rather than directly as a virtual machine directly on top of a virtual machine you deploy them within containers advantages of environments advantages of rapid scale security orchestration using kubernetes a lot of advantages accrue when we do deployments using the uh, various ways like the images okay and containers so in azure microsoft brings to the table the entire platform to do everything 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 right you will be given scalable on-demand compute development workstations training clusters inference clusters attached compute gpus tpus whatever you want you have it that's it pay as you go use it delete it that's it data storage and connectivity options you get everything right open data sets web data sets data stores that exist in the cloud like lakes and databases of various natures and seamless connectivity right you don't have to write any gluing code in order to connect to your data sources and move the data from here and there nothing required it's directly visible to your entire azure machine learning platform you are given a robust workflow orchestration pipelining model right you will be able to develop pipelines without any pain right ml pipelines are simplest in the azure machine learning you develop pipelines using your pipeline steps and pipeline run configurations easily okay models can be registered can be tracked you can look at their versions you can track their drifts you can track their explanations and fairness everything can be managed at the click of a button in the azure machine learning and you'll be able to monitor and analyze the metrics of the models and deployments in the Azure Log Analytics service to understand whether you have any kind of a performance discrepancy in the production environment. And you can obviously do the model deployments to a web service, to a real-time inference cluster, to a batch inference cluster. And all this lives on top of the intelligent, intelligent, highly compliant, highly secure Microsoft Azure public cloud platform. Okay. So all in all, a holistic package to all the machine learning people to do the work in the cloud, cloud native machine learning, right? We should say it like that. So what you are given is a studio, right? I have it. <laughs> I have my project environment. I can show you that maybe a little later. If time is there, I will take the permission of the organizer if they allow me to show some demonstration but nonetheless this is what's called as a studio in which we work and author our projects register the data train the model evaluate the models performance and then deploy the model and consume them and microsoft provides azure machine learning for all sort of people nobody can say that everyone is an expert in coding right from the day one it will take time right so microsoft provides something called as automated machine learning and the designer these two approaches are for people who do not want to write code so if you say i want to develop state-of-the-art high-end machine learning models without writing even a single line of code automated ml and designer but obviously data scientists are known for coding right they typically prefer to write logic with a programming language because of the versatility because of the pro performance optimizations that they can achieve when they write program targeting a specific runtime environment right so you typically get more control more performance more configuration aware systems with 
pipelines with coding that you write in your languages right so there you can develop notebooks as well right so what i want to say is that azure machine learning studio is a place where we author our projects and microsoft provides us authoring experience for people of all levels right whether you are a beginner whether you are an intermediate guy whether you are an expert person writing a lot of code everything is at your disposal so the question that arises is that how to do data science and machine learning on the azure platform data science and machine learning on the azure platform can be done using various tools and technologies that exist you have various tools development tools most popular are obviously jupyter visual studio code a uh, git right data ingestion tools are there like sql server data tools data factory event hubs logic apps data lakes right data exploration and visualization tools are there similarly ml and ai tools exist on the microsoft azure platform and the data platforms are like apache spark hadoop MapReduce, your data lakes sql server ml services everything is available on the azure cloud but at the center of everything is what is called as a data science virtual machine dsvm dsvm is now embedded inside the machine learning studio and that is called as a compute instance earlier we used to deploy a dsvm from the marketplace it is available nowadays as well which means a dsvm uh, we used to deploy it from the marketplace but if you want to have it in the studio it's available in the studio and you can right up front start working on the machine learning project no need to take a laptop and install all these things and spend days and hours in just configuring them and getting lost right so remove the static friction when someone starts they have a static friction static friction then the kinetic friction and we all know from basic physics static friction is more than kinetic friction right so microsoft removes the friction right they give you this vm and you start directly working on this vm so guys this was our expert and if in case you missed upon anything and you could not understand any of the technical keywords then we have something really special for you we have our free class on Microsoft Azure Data Scientist Certification Demo along with some question and answers, that is DP100. And if you want to gain access to this free course, then you just have to log on to k21academy.com forward slash DP102. Under this course, you'll be learning about why to learn Azure Cloud and some of the amazing market trends for machine learning. You'll be getting a certification roadmap. You'll be working on real life demos as to how to create ML workspace in Azure. You'll be learning about training and deploying a classification model in Azure and machine learning and what not. So if you really want to enroll for the free course, then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash dp102. After that, you'll be seeing a page like this. You just have to click on book your free seat now and select your event date according to your availability. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be getting this kind of page where you'll be seeing this kind of URL on your extreme right. Save that URL, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.